Hi, this is Casey Ogan. I'm the Vice Principal for the Junior Class, Class of 2022. We are here to um, introduce ourselves to you guys, make sure you know who we are, and actually reintroduce ourselves. I know we've been working with you for a while, but we haven't seen you for a while, so I thought we'd let you know who we are. And then we have a short presentation for you to give you some information about the upcoming year and some expectations for you. Um, and it, with that, I will kick it over to our team so they can introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Mrs. Favre. I'm your counselor. If your last name is from A through K, I'm really excited to hopefully be able to talk to you either through email or messages or through our Google Classroom. I want to make sure that you know that we are here to help you. Hi, juniors. I'm Counselor Chinchilla, counselor for the last name L through Z. We miss having you guys here. We wish you were here. We can't wait to see you all again. We do want to get a hold of you. We want you guys talking to us. So feel free to email us if you have any questions, get on our Google Classroom, stay in touch with us. And until we can see you guys in person, uh, we miss you and hope everything's going great. Hi, my name is Haley Mishko and I'm the school counseling intern this year. I'm really excited to work with your students and I'm excited for the year. Hello, my name is Eric Canton. I am a Dean of Students here at the high school covering the junior class, as well as overseeing athletics and we're looking forward to having everybody back, get some normalcy back into our lives. Hi everyone, I'm Susie Nass and I'm the Career Counselor. I can help students with uh, resumes, job applications, college applications, um, figuring out what they want to do after high school, and all of those things that have to do with their career and college planning. Let's get into the presentation. Hi, we'd like to invite you to visit our virtual classroom. You can click on your counselor to schedule appointments or click on links for important information such as information about Running Start or college visits. Students should set up a meeting with their counselor to develop a post high school plan this fall. It's also important to encourage your student to set goals and stay organized. New for fall and winter, help your junior get ready for the PSAT. We hope that this will be happening in January. This is a test that helps students practice for the SAT and access their academic skills. Juniors who score well at this test are also eligible for scholarship opportunities. This is also a good time to make a list of at least five colleges that you will research this year through the college fairs. Credit checks. You should have a copy of your credit check, but if you would like another one, please contact your school counselor. If you received an I from last spring semester, please contact Mr. Canton so that we can find ways for you to receive credit for that class. You should have a copy of your credit check, um, and you can reference that to look at where you are academically. Juniors need to have at least 14 credits to be on track for graduation. By your senior year, you'll have at least 30. If you have more questions about this, please contact your counselors. Another thing to be looking for this year is to access your high school and beyond plan through Zello. This needs to be completed by graduation. So what's next after high school? It's never too early to start thinking about that question. You have lots of options, such as going to work, military, technical, vocational school, or colleges. Within each of those, there's lots of options as well. Sometimes it can seem overwhelming, so I always like to ask first, where do you see yourself in five years or 10 years? And then choose the route that feels best to you. Uh, the military, for one, you could go enlisted, or you could try to attend one of the military academies. Within just that option, you have three selections to choose from. Again, while it can seem overwhelming, there are people here to help you. Here at the Career Center, I can help you. Currently, I'm scheduling college and military reps to speak with our students who are interested in attending those particular universities or military branches. Check out the Junior Class Google webpage for the Zoom links and dates and times. Please remember you're responsible for any missed work and please let your teachers know in advance that you'll be missing the learning support time. Also, I'm here if you need any help with your application or resume to find a current job. You can schedule an appointment with me through the Google Class page as well as your other counselors, um, or you can check out the Career Center's website for links. If you're interested in going the military route, please refer to the Google Classroom. There'll be visits with our military branches that you can participate in to learn more about them. Remember, there's the Navy, the National Guard, Army, Marines, Air Force, and Coast Guard as all your options. 
If you're interested in going the vocational or technical school, there's lots of wonderful options nearby that you can participate in. Please check out West Sound Tech this year or your senior year just to get your foot in the door and to see if you would like that trade. There's also other technical schools after high school that you can attend, such as Clover Park and Bates, that have wonderful programs that can get you a career that's fulfilling. What are two-year colleges? Our local ones are Olympic College and Tacoma Community College. They are two-year institutions. They're designed to help prepare you get into a four-year college after you get your associate's degree. Many of them also offer career and technical education programs. Many of them offer career and technical education programs, such as welding, culinary arts, and construction trades. There are many options. They often cost less money than going straight into a four-year college. And there are over 40 community colleges in Washington. So if you want that going away to school feeling right after high school, check them all out, see what's best for you. What are two-year colleges looking for to apply to get in? They would like you to have your high school diploma, at least a 2.0 GPA. They would like you to complete at least through advanced algebra to help you on the AccuPlacer test. Many two-year colleges will accept students without a foreign language, but no, if you transfer to a four-year college, they may require you to have one to two classes at a two-year college. The ACT and SAT testing may be required, but at this point, it's not necessary. They will have you take the AccuPlacer placement test to get into English and math. What are four-year colleges and universities? A college or university is where you can get your bachelor's degree. Universities are usually larger than colleges and may have larger class sizes. So if you prefer to have smaller class sizes, you might want to apply to just a college. Both colleges and universities offer four-year bachelor's degree. So it's going to depend on what you will feel more comfortable at, a larger college or a smaller one. There are also public schools and private schools. At your public college and universities, they tend to be less money, but they also vary in sizes. They could be over 5,000 students. Private universities could cost more money, but they could also be smaller in size. So again, really research what colleges you're interested in going to that are going to fit your personality. What are four-year colleges looking for? So English, they want you to have four years. Math, three years through advanced algebra. But then in your senior year, you need to have at least one math credit or a math-based science. They need you to have three years of science, two of them being lab. They do want you to have the same foreign language for two years, three years of social studies, one year of art. GPA requirements depend on what school you're applying to. SAT and ACT minimums depend on each school as well. They may be waived because of COVID. As Ms. Tinchilla was talking about with colleges, some of the selective colleges um, are looking for even higher academic standards. Um, places like Stanford, University of Cal Berkeley, Harvard, Yale, some of those big schools on the East Coast. Um, uh, stronger GPAs, they're looking for more math and science classes, AP classes, is uh, more of those you can take the better. They're also looking for you to really get involved in your community um, and, and ways in which you do that through volunteering and that kind of a thing. So really look at, if you're thinking about going to those areas, set yourself apart. Um, there's a lot of people apply for those, so you have to make yourself special and stand out um, amongst the crowd for those kind of places. Things to prepare yourself. Um, as you're going into the 12th grade, um, you really want to start attending college fairs. You really want to start researching the colleges you're interested in. In the springtime, you want to get on those campuses and, and, and work with their parents and getting campus visits set up so you could go visit. It's really different um, when you're physically on a site than if you're just looking at, uh, looking at it on, on the computer. So make sure that you're trying to get to those. And also start really looking at how you're going to um, pay for college because it can be expensive. So start looking at at grants, at scholarships, and those kind of things as well. For you athletes that have the desire and the talent to go play at the next level, one of the things you're going to have to do before you're eligible to even be considered is you have to fill out a bunch of information on the NCAA Clearinghouse website, which is on the slide. The fee is $90, and they only accept online registration. Another requirement is you'll need to send an initial transcript and a final transcript in order to complete the process. 
Contact information for myself is at the bottom of the slide. Some events coming up in the school year that'll be online available to you that is good information for your future. Uh, we have a future fair October 15th. We have fall conferences, which are reach out days, kind of like the uh, open house scenario that we used to have. Uh, that'll be in the middle of October. Each one of you will receive a graduation status letter, and that will be at the end of October. And that's only if you're not on track. So first quarter ends on November 13th, and it's periods one, two, three, and four. Then we'll move into periods five, six, seven, and eight, and that will begin on November 16th. PSAT day, tentatively scheduled to be on campus in January of 2021. Counselors are currently working on their second semester schedules and January is the time where you're gonna to have to make any changes. Registering for your senior year, the week after the President's Day weekend, the dates will be given. And SAT or ACT testing that is something that you sign up on your own, and it's usually in the spring. So spring of 2021 is when you can expect to be able to sign up for those. Thank you for joining us and reviewing our presentation today. If you have any questions, we will be here live on Tuesday, October 6th at 6.30 p.m. to answer any questions after reviewing our presentation. So join us if you have any further questions on Tuesday, October 6th. Have a great evening.